Hey, hey, hey! My name is Prosper and I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day. I don't know if you just missed uh, my little harmonica expedition right there. Um, as, as I'm saying, look at this, Loretta has just tuned in, Kosiabo has just tuned in, and I've said before, my name is Prosper Taruvinga and I help small businesses like yours to actually grow essentially through digital marketing strategies. And I help um, you by actually curating your online print and content and we optimize it for business growth. So every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and we can discuss how to actually help you earn more money with less struggle. So I'm hoping I find you well. And today we're talking about how you can actually stand out in your market and so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, of course, he says, uh, good morning from Joburg. Zuri saying or blaz? <laughs> oh, you make me proud, bruh. Okay, so how we do this is, um, you know, every every day when we sit around here for 30 minutes, I've gotten reports from people actually saying, oh my God, your show actually helps me. So if you don't want to miss an episode, make sure you subscribe at the end of this video or you can always catch the replay. And also, if you're watching live right now, just type in the number one so that I see those people that are watching me and catching me live and make it relevant to you. And if you're watching this as a replay, just type in two so that I can always catch up with you, um, you know, in the, um, in, the, in the comments below. All right. So I've got so much to say today and I'm so excited because of all the feedback that I'm getting from a lot of people. I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. First of all, there's 7 billion people in the world. 2 billion of which are active on Facebook and you guys choose to spend your time with me. I really, really, really appreciate that. So, you know, as a token of my, um, you know, appreciation, I'm going to do you a bit of a solo with my harmonica so that we just wait for everybody else to uh, tune in. And um, if you really, really like this, share this for now while I play the harmonica for Right, okay, I don't know if you missed that or if you saw that, but my internet keeps cutting out. Anyway, let's get down to the chase. Nobody wants to see me play the harmonica or whatever um, you want to call it. Um, I think everybody's big problem this day and age is visibility, all right? I don't know how you're doing it. I don't know how you are making your customers see your work or see your progress. Is that something that you're working on or is it something that has been a problem for your business? Being visible to the right people that actually need your service, okay? Um, I don't know if you noticed, when I, um, um, I mean, an hour ago, I posted and I posed this question. I was like, if 60% of your audience is people that are in the same niche as you, people that are in the same industry as you, we're not going to hear about you in 2018. The reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of us, we are having this false sense of security around people that are in our industry. We we can't sell anything to them. You know why? Because they're also peddling the same product. They're also peddling the same, um, you know, the same uh, service. In any case, if people are around you that are in your industry, they're either copying from you or it's the other way around. Now, I want you to actually really take a full audit of your audience and actually assess and see if you are feeding the sharks or are you actually feeding the fish? All right, because a lot of people, they think they might have all this big following. First of all, maybe the audience is not even engaged. And second of all, maybe the audience is not even willing and able to buy from you. When was the last time you took actual audit of the people that are following you to assess if you're saying the right stuff for them or if you're peddling the right kind of information that they're looking for? 
All right? Because everybody that comes to the internet, guys, is coming to get information. All right? Thank you so much, Paul, for tuning in. And thank you so much, Jan Clifford, for tuning in. All right? And as a business owner, you literally have to be a leader. You literally have to be the person that people are following. All right. What are you doing in order to make sure that those people are getting what they want, especially from you and in turn reciprocate that with their credit card purchasing from you? All right. That, I think, is the biggest problem. And Trish, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So a lot of us are thinking, oh, my God. OK, um, I'm on social media. I've got a website. I've got a few of these channels going on for me. But. I'm not getting the traction that I want. You look at your neighbor or you look at somebody else who's got a profile before you, he's having a lot of people that are liking their stuff, sounds and seems successful, all right? But none of that is happening to you. And you might wonder, what might be the reason why this is happening? Because at the end of the day, I don't think you're bringing out your personality. I don't think you're bringing out your, your, your eagerness and you're not telling people your why. Why are you in business and why should they care? All right. Because in this day and age, if you want to start thinking of a really successful brand, right, it might be a company or an organization. And we can all agree that, you know, they, they, they have they're deemed to be successful because of something new or something exciting or maybe something revolutionary that they've done. OK, look at the uh, likes of Uber. Look at the likes of Facebook. Look at the likes of um uh, Airbnb, all of those sort of businesses have done something different that wasn't present in the market already. All right. And then you might be sitting and thinking to yourself, OK, what I'm doing is not revolutionary enough. What I'm doing is not, um, you know, um, you know, world changing enough. How am I then going to stand out? Now, this is the show you want to watch after this. Let me just find out what Nash is saying. So Nash is saying, hey, mate, love these sessions. What advice do you have for coaches? Uh, do we need to start blogs, YouTube channels, etc. to grow? Coaches are my favorite people. All right. Coaches are my favorite people. In order for you to stand out as a coach, you need to show results. All right. The fact that you read something from a textbook does not constitute that you can actually help people. You're dealing with people's emotions. You're dealing with people's income. You're dealing with people's livelihood. Did you actually go through the things that you are telling somebody that you are able to help them with? Show them that you can actually help them by actually helping them. Are you leaving the testimony that you're talking about? Are you talking and, and relating to the people that actually need to hear your services? All right. So Nash, can you just type in there what it is that you help people with and what outcome should they expect from you and how do you deliver it? OK, so first of all, let's go on with what do you help people with? What outcome do you provide? All right. So, you know, everybody else might be wondering, OK, is my work, you know, meaningful enough that people might want to follow it? Is my product or my service, you know, good enough so that people might want to hear more of it? At the end of the day, like I said, if 60 percent of your audience is just people that are in your niche and you're not actually serving people and you're not actually getting results for anyone, 2018 might not be your year. All right. So that's the reason why I really want to work with you so that you can start a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that is something you can actually pass on to the next generation. Is that something that you actually want or are you just in business to pay bills right now? So can you tell me in the comments there, are you in business to pass it on or are you there for bills? So. Um, you know, type in either legacy or bills so that I know the kind of people that I'm talking to. All right. Now, if you are there for the bills, maybe this is not the right video for you. But if you are here for legacy, I want you to get rid of your scarcity mindset. I want you to get rid of your get rich quick scheme. Uh, mindset and I really want you to start laying a foundation that you can start building on. People come to the internet to actually just get information. Now, if your brand is not providing that information, how are they going to know you? 
How are they going to trust you? And how are they going to like you? So every single thing that you're going to do matters. Every resource that you have around you can be turned into content. We are now in the midst of a really big um, content hungry um, audience with a really big appetite for knowledge. Are you the person to deliver those people from what they're feeling right now to be the best versions of who they can be? Now, Trish says legacy, building for my daughter to take over one day. Absolutely. Because if you are just building for the next bill, then I think maybe, um, you know, all those get rich quick schemes will take your money and then you won't get anything um, to show for it. But if you want legacy, if you want to stand out and actually be known and be a person of substance, I think what you really, really, really want to start doing is first of all, forget the competition, be bold, and then actually build your business by answering this question. What is it that my customer really needs and is not already available on the market right now? Find out from what you're serving and what you're producing and just go in and find the people that really want that stuff and just make it your mission parameter to serve those people and nobody else. All right. If we look at our newsfeed, if we look at, um, you know, our friend list or the people that are following us, it's probably somebody who also owns a business. Are you in a position to serve them? Can you sell somebody else? I can't sell anyone else marketing services if they're a marketer and neither would I expect another marketer to come and start peddling me their services. So there's no need for us to be in the same newsfeed. All right. Your market is out there waiting for you. So if you're just going to be cocooned by people that are just, you know, your, what do you call them? Your, um, your cheerleaders, but they're not going to buy from you. What good are they? They were good three months ago. All right, so I keep having internet problems, but let me see what people are saying. Um, Nash says, I help new and soon to be dads embrace and step into their role as a dad. I want to show guys how having kids is an opportunity to go after what they want and not an excuse to give up. Okay, so obviously what you're talking about is you help uh, dads to embrace you know, their new role as a father and become role models, right? So what you now need to do is show them what actual parenting is by showing results either of how you treat your kids, what psychology you need to, um, you know, embrace around them and how to actually have kids that are well-mannered, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to actually show by actually doing. And those that you can help, if you've got kids yourself, make sure you're seen around your kids so that you're actually selling the stuff that you eat as well, all right? So if you're not showing us that you have results with well-mannered kids, I don't think anybody else would listen to you. All right. So just let me know there. Have you got kids that you are um, showing off in your in your in your in your in your work there? Because at the end of the day, everybody is is learning. Kids have a different mindset. They are different humans on their own. So you you can't really say there's a set way of treating them or there's a set way of doing. But there's a f structure. So if you can show that structure and that you are actually getting results with it, then I think people will be more than happy to hear from you and actually find out how to do more of what you're getting. Because people don't care what you do. People care what you can do for them. So if you can show them that you can actually help them get kids that are well-mannered, well-behaved, um, and kids that are actually really, really, um, you know, going to be good citizens. And I think a lot of people will gravitate towards your message. You also need to figure out if there's any psychology that dads need to understand because there's the whole emotional, um, you know, education. I've got a kid myself, so I understand. We 
tend to think as if the kid is already our age, but the kid is only understanding from a level of which they are, all right? So every single time you lift up a kid, you're showing them the perspective of what you have been seeing, and the moment you put them down, they're just seeing what they're seeing there. So if you can help dads to actually navigate through that by showing that emotional intelligence and by being emp empathetic to their kids and knowing that they're still very young minds, you will win this race, okay? But you need to show um, people you can actually help them by actually helping them, all right? So maybe that would work out for you there, Nash, all right? And also, at the end of the day, when you come into this industry, you want to make sure that you are constantly giving and constantly providing, all right? Like I said, people are coming to the internet to get information, whatever you can use as a piece of content. So what that then means is for you, for your business to stand out as a coach, you really need to start embodying the principles that you're, 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 you're peddling. We now live in a 24 hour world where everybody is watching. So it's no longer what you say, but also what you are doing in the process. On Father's Day, did you put out any content regarding that? Did you put up any content leading to that aspect, um, you know, leading to that day? It's small things like that, all right? So you want to be on top of, you know, days like this. Now we're coming up to Christmas. How can you help, you know, fathers connect with their kids at Christmas instead of just buying them presents? Nate, Nash, there's a lot of content. You know why? Because these kids are growing every single day, etc., etc. And another way that you can actually, um, you know, start really, really, really winning um, in your business, Nash, as, as a coach for dads, you should actually start a dad's group offline. All right. So what that then does is every single day you now have all these dads around you and you're learning from them. All right. You now learn how they treat their kids and what they do when they're around their kids. That is content. All right. So start an offline dad's group where you actually meet maybe every Saturday or every fortnight. I'm involved in one. So I know it's possible. And dads would like to go to places like that so that they can actually connect with their kids and take them away from technology, et cetera, et cetera. So there you go. I've just given you a 2018 marketing strategy that you can actually implement if you're not lazy. And listen, I want results off of that. All right. So back to what I was saying. All right. When you when you. When you're actually looking at your business, try and not follow what everyone in your industry is doing. Because at the end of the day, everybody is talking about it, but nobody actually knows what they're talking about or doing. All right? Because what, what I've actually realized is we're all learning and most of it comes from one source. You should actually try and look at other, you know, um, industries within your niche that are actually complimenting what you're doing because your customers are actually paying someone else to either, you know, um, their real estate agent, they're paying somebody else to look at their teeth, they're paying somebody else to look at their eyes, etc., etc. Look at how doctors, how dentists, and how real estate agents are actually um, working with your clients and... Once you've figured out how you want to serve your clients, connect with those people that are already taking money from your clients. It makes it a whole lot easier because the more you start peddling the look at me, look at me uh, song, nobody cares. And that's why a lot of people start burning out because people are tired of hearing you saying that your service is good or your products are good without them seeing the results. All right. So that's one other thing. If you can show and tell and if you can actually partner with other people that are already taking money from your clients, you will definitely start standing out and you will be allowed into other, um, you know, um, platforms and other audiences that you never knew existed. All right. So every single day, if you think putting out a status update or just putting out, you know, a picture or a tweet is going to bring you closer to your audience, I think you've lost the game already. You really now need to embrace the whole culture of it's no longer a separation between you and your business. Every single thing that you do matters. And I want to let you in on the biggest secret, just like I've just told Nash. The biggest secret about social media is actually offline. That's where all the transactions happen.
All right? And what we're doing every single day, liking, commenting, sharing, it's good. But you can't measure return of investment from likes. Trust me, I've tried to pay my mortgage with likes and, and, and shares and smiles. People don't accept that at the bank. All right? So you really need to start looking at how you are placing yourself front of mind to the people that are actually going to pay you real money because if you're not going to be in front of them today, right now all your prospects are still your suspects. They don't trust you, they don't know you, and literally they don't like you. So it will take six to eight times for people to actually know who you are, to actually know how you can be of um, help to them because you literally have to show them you can help them by actually helping them. All right? Everyone can copy and paste. Everyone can fake it. But if you are not actually getting results for your customers, there's no way you're going to stand out. You can use the biggest trick, you can use the latest shiny object, but if you're not the person that's actually doing it, showing it, and getting results, you're wasting your time, you're wasting everybody else's time, and you're wasting internet space. In business, we are now faced with a whole new set of challenges every single day. So in order to keep your, you know, your, 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 your eye on the price, you must be very creative and start thinking outside the box. What your competition is doing, let them do it. Be you. And that's where authenticity actually does come in. Because the more, the, the, the more different you are and the, and the more resourcefulness that you're using, the resources that you have around yourself, the more you will have the longevity, the more you won't even burn out, and the, the longer you last in the game. The reason why a lot of people are not succeeding is because they don't have the stick to eat evenness. Stick to it. First of all, you're choosing something just because you saw people in the niche and you thought that was the way to go. But it's not your thing. All right. I put up a post um, earlier on and I was like, um, people are, uh, well, what did I say earlier on? Sorry. Um, who are you supposed to be before the world defined who you are today? Go back and find out who that person is because that's the person that you're going to stick around with. For the rest of the time you're in business. Because the longer you take to actually put your feet on the ground and set yourself to what you're going to be doing, the longer it will be for you to actually achieve your goals. Every single day that you don't show up in front of your prospect's eyes or in front of their face, that you're taking six to eight months for them to actually start recognizing you. All right? So it's, it's not me just coming over here and saying, oh, do this, do this, do this. These are things that are sort of tried and trusted. That's how winning is done. When you're actually going out there, first of all, educating your, your customers and showing them you can actually help them by helping them. You know, these days, you know, marketing strategies would, would change, you know, because of whatever technology that we have. It evolves. But if your message is not aligned to a market, whatever media you're going to use, it's all just going to fall on deaf ears. Figure out what are you saying and who actually needs to hear that message and make it your point to wake up and go out and reach out for that person even if you're going to be grabbing them by the... It wasn't me who said that. Trump said it. But you grab them by the things. All right. So technology might change, but the underlying principles will still remain the same. First of all, you're dealing with humans. Second of all, they have feelings. And third of all, they have money. But they're not just going to give you the money just because you've got a pretty face. They're not going to just give you the money just because you put up a status update or maybe you're, you're, you're like me that can, you know, um, I don't know, be different or whichever way it works out. I really want you to win. So the first way to do it really is, look at this. You need to grab the attention of the people you're going to be demanding money from. All right. You've probably um, seen or had, you know, the, 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 the statistic 
that you know that that you know people's attention span is getting lesser and lesser than that of a goldfish like right now this video has been going on for almost 30 minutes and the the viewership fluctuates People just come in to hear what they want to hear and then they go away. And then they go in and they keep co co continuously scroll through their news feed. What makes you think that your, 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 your customers are hearing your message now if you post between, um, you, know, uh, you know, if your, your posts are far and in between? So you got to always make sure that you are out there and making sure that your prospects actually now start paying attention to your, your material. Yeah? Yeah. Regardless of whether the statistic is true about, you know, the goldfish or whatever, it is actually very imperative for you to make sure that your marketing is capturing your customers or your audience attention. But it only sticks if those people actually want to hear that message. So spend most of your time with those people that you want to sell to or a, 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 a sector of the, of, the, of the niche that you want to work with. Because people these days, they don't listen to you and how you know how to do things. All right? People can Google that stuff. So if you're not out there actually showing and proving to people that you can actually do it, nobody's going to pay attention to you. Nobody's going to care. All right? You know, just like I can play the harmonica. Right, good stuff. So you see, what just happened there was me showing that I can actually do something by actually doing it. A lot of us are magicians. You know what I mean? A lot of us are, are trying to do things that they cannot actually do and say, oh yes, I, 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 I'm good at this, I'm good at that. Show people you can do it by actually doing it and showing it and proving it. All right? Get people's attention by actually highlighting what problems they're facing and then show them you can solve it for them. That's how you stand out. Yeah? Illustrate that you've got the solutions and you can use, you've got magical transformations that have actually worked on you, on other people and prove it. And don't be afraid to toot your own horn, guys. You know, testimonials and everything that can help you stand out will make sure that the person who's below you in the news feed has got nothing on you. Testimonials are essential. So show people, out them, and then show proof. And to, in, in today's world, you know, peer-to-peer -peer info, in, information actually influences people's purchasing decisions. So make sure you're reaching out to as many people as possible, proving yourself that you can actually do it that way, my friend. You will stand out. And in the process of you being around your, your, the, your customers and, and those that you really want to work with, you start speaking in their own language. Can you imagine if you can actually say something and then your customers get it because you're one of them? That's how winning is done. That's how you stand out. So you start speaking to them in a way that they want to be communicated to, in the language that they use. That's when your message actually sticks and you stand up. So spend as much time with the people you really want to get money from and stop peddling your, your talents, your, 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 your time with those that are in the same niche as you because they're not going to come and pay your bills, period. All right? So once, once you've got all of those things in, in place, you, it, it becomes easy. Yeah? Go where your customers are and actually start showing them you can help them by actually helping them. Yeah? For me, the one thing that never changes is knowing your audience. If you actually know who you're speaking to, what they need, what their current problem is, and how you can solve it, my friend, you're on a winner there. And it's easier for you to encourage them to actually take action. You know why? Because you can see through them. They have no objections. They have seen it with their own eyes. And it's, it's harder to convince somebody what to do unless when they have convinced themselves. 
So your mission is to continuously go out there, become the magician that is always showing out their tricks. Because the more you don't get seen, the more nobody's going to know what it is that you do. So find out how and where your audience is and just make sure you, you're out there serving them and making sure that you're helping them by actually helping them. I really want you to start earning a lot more money with less struggle. And the only way you can do that is stop pleasing your other peers or industry people in your, um, you know, in your, in your niche. Go out and speak to your real customers. In the meantime, I hope you're going to have a fantastic day and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much for your time today.